I came home and it felt like Christmas. My pressure washing hose came in. Um, this is 50 feet of 3 8 inch pressure washing hose. I mean, obviously you can read the box. Gray, non-marking, can handle hot or cold. Uh, this goes up to 248 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't have anything hot water, but just in case I ever run anything hot water, I already have some hot water hose. The other 50 foot section I have in the truck in Clifford um, is hot water. So I'm gonna get this hooked up. I gotta send that one back. Um, I thought I was doing something great when I got this one, uh, cause this is a hundred feet of pressure washing hose. And I got really excited about it. Cause I was like, yo, a hundred feet. And the thing was, I should have known something was different cause it only cost, um, a hundred dollars, you know, minus, uh, you know, no, no tax, no shipping, whatever. It was just a hundred dollars for whatever. And then add in taxes, fees, all that, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so I thought I was getting a great deal. So I was like, cool, it already come with quick necks. I'm good. Get the package, get it in the mail, get excited. I go outside to Clifford, take my sections off to be able to run this 100 and realize, yo, something don't look right. Something's off. Uh, it just it just didn't look right. So when I was looking at it and I noticed the diameter of the holes is only quarter inch. The quick connects are three eighths. The diameter of the hose is only a quarter inch. That's too small for me. Um, I've been running three eighths line for since I started. I mean, honestly, the, the the first hose that I bought when I first started the business, I knew immediately you had to buy separate hoses. You cannot. Well, I take that back. Depending on what pressure washer you buy, yes, you can run the hose with the pressure washers. But the system that I started with, with the two point five GPM Dewalt from Home Depot. The hoses they run, no, wasn't gonna be enough. Um, so I immediately went and bought a different type of hose. It was a 40 foot section of hose, and I'll show that to you whenever I load this one up. But um, yeah, I've always ran 3 8 inch hose. I've never ran a quarter inch hose on anything for any reason. So for me, it was simple. I'm gonna have to return this one because I just, I just don't see a reason for it. Um, I'm never gonna run a quarter inch worth of pressure hose in anything that I do. Unless I decide to save it and start a mobile detailing business one day, I'll never run that. And by the time I do that, I can be done, got this return. Excuse me, that was grammatically incorrect. I could have this one return and get some money back for it and use the money I spent on that to buy another 50 foot section of this because this wasn't but, I'm gonna have to watch that. I don't like that. Uh huh. Um, I can use the money to return from this one to buy another one of these. These were 65, 70, something like that. I run my hoses in sections simply because if one burst, I can replace it. And at the time I only had money to buy 50 foot sections. I didn't have money to buy 20, excuse me, not 20. I didn't have money to buy 200 foot hose or two 100 foot sections of hoses. I just didn't have the money. So at the time when I first started, I bought one 40 foot section of hose from Lowe's and um it's rated at I think 3800 PSI great little hose uh, I had to buy these to actually go on the end of it because it didn't come with quick connects and the ones that I got from Lowe's but um bought one of those wheeled my pressure washer around with me man I had a garden hose had a pressure washer had one 40 foot section of hose and I wheeled it around I got the jobs done and then um as time went on I bought a couple more and then I finally bought a 50 foot section so anyway I'll explain all that when I actually put this on the truck and I will show y'all everything that I got there but I am excited this is here feels like Christmas all right so this is currently my whole setup um I've got a 50 footer on here this black hose under here is a 50 foot hose and this is three 40 foot hoses that I got from Lowe's. Um, like I said, when I first started, even before I actually bought my pressure washer, I knew I was gonna need hoes first. So one of the first things I did was I bought hoes. And this is how serious I was about getting into the business because I bought hoes before I bought my pressure washer. Um, but yeah, so the first thing I did was I bought a 40 foot hose out of Lowe's. And um, with that, you gotta put these extensions and stuff on it and all that, um, cause they don't come with quick connects and all that stuff. 
And then uh, later on, I got a hose reel and all that other stuff. Because I, I had all this stuff in a tote in the back of my other car. But right now, I'm about to wheel this off. Um, wheel all three of these 40s off. I got my 50, my other 50 right here. Um, after looking at it, I'm, I'm still going to hold off on getting another 50-foot hose or 100-foot hose. I'm going to just run with 250s and 240s for now. Um, that'll give me 180 feet worth of hose to have to use in case I need it. So, I mean, honestly, um, yeah, and then I'll put the rest in the truck, so I'll always have it if I need it. But anyway, let me go ahead and get this wheeled off, get this one put on, and check back. All right, so now I'm all loaded up. Um, I put all of this together just to see how far 200 some odd feet of hose really is. That's a long distance, man. And I don't think any project I have, any customer I have or see right now in the immediate future is going to require me using that much doggone hose. This is a 200 foot hose reel, by the way. Um, but right now I've got my 250s and a 40 on here and I left this whatever this protector thing is on because on my other ones I cut these off and I noticed there's a very serious bend right here when I roll this up and I don't like that and um, thank God knock on wood these haven't bursted on me right there and I hope it doesn't but either way I left that on so hopefully I wouldn't mess up this new hose anytime soon and um, I'll be good there. So now I got 140 feet just sitting here, 250s and a 40. I've got my other 240s sitting right here, which gives me an extra 80 feet if I need it. And um, like I said, before I reeled it all up and pulled these off and wrapped them up, I stretched this out as far as I possibly could. And uh, that's a long way away, man. <laughs> this is a total of 220 feet worth of pressure hose. And um, again, I don't ever see myself needing 220 feet worth of pressure hose, but if I ever do, whew, uh, I got it. And then if something happens, if one of my hoses or something bursts like that, then I'll have these. I'll definitely keep these as backups. These are still good, still great not going anywhere not messing with these at all i'm um, just gonna put them in the back of the truck in here and keep going from there um like i said i'm waiting on my pump for my other pressure washer to come in so i can put the pump on it my three gallon pump because i am interested to see how that's going to perform and uh who knows i might get to a point where i build something and i run two systems and i need two sets of hoses i don't know but anyway so now that i finally got that hooked up i'm about to pack clifford back up Put my machine back in my truck get everything packed up nice and neat and get ready for my next job hopefully i get something soon